Hey guys, welcome back. So I am making good on my promise and I have not made any new canes. Um, I've been working on earrings and going through all my beads that I have that were supposed to be put into necklaces that I still have not done. But I have not found any motivation <laughs> to finish them. Um, you got to be in the mood to make jewelry. It's just, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. So I am just putting a little bit of texture on some ivory clay. I've been seeing y'all with your molds and you're making veneers. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do that today just for the heck of it. Um, I'm just trying to think if I want to put a texture on there, but I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to go a really light texture and this is going to take forever because I know these things are time consuming I have never made a veneer like this but everybody's posting their um, finished earrings and they're so adorable that I thought you know what I'm going to try it so thanks a lot Melanie you're one of those people Okay, so this is just a little bit of ivory with white in it. It doesn't really have to be straight. I don't know why I'm worrying about that. Okay, and I'm just going to put some like um, pale flowers on it. But I didn't want to use white because white's really out there, really stark. So I did half and half. Actually, I did more white than I did ivory. And it still came out with that little ivory tint. And I'm just going to pull out some scrap clay that I have. You know, I've got some that's mixed with gold. So I could do maybe some greens, maybe some blues. That's a little brighter. Let me see if I can find a really good blue here. Here's some blue that I must have used in a project, but it's not light enough. So I want to have a little bit more white. I want to have kind of like a pastel look to it. So we're just going to do a few of these and then we'll, we'll let you go because this, I have a feeling it's going to take me a few hours to do. I don't know. That's why I'm using these silicone molds that my friend gave me. Um, that way I don't have to hand make anything. So I know that's cheating a little bit, but I don't really care. I can't make a decent flower even if I wanted to. Okay, so there's just a little bit. I like that blue. I might just go a little more on the white. Some brown leaves like um, latte or cowboy would probably look really good with this so and then I don't think silver is gonna work with this so I'll go for a little bit of a gold thing so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take some gold right here and I'm gonna run it through the pasta machine and that gold will just run through it. So I've got a little bit in the middle. And I'll put a little bit on the outside as well. Not too much. Let me roll it in a little in a little log here. So we'll start this out for you guys. Oh my gosh, I dropped that one. Which I have been dropping things all day today. So I'm making a whole bunch of different cutters today. I've noticed people are starting to buy Halloween stuff. 
So, I got some new Halloween cutters I've been playing with. And I will show you those. You might be able to see them. Okay. So now we're just going to take this blue right here. And we're just going to stick it in any of these molds like that. I'm going to do a couple at a time. And I think all these flowers are the same on this mold. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Some go in very easy, some end up being very sticky. As you can see. So I don't know how you guys put these together. I don't know if you do your flowers and then you do your leaves or if you do your leaves and flower first or your leaves before you do your flowers. So we're going to just put a couple of these on and then we might switch to leaves and just keep going back and forth. The one thing that's cool about doing this is I don't have to worry about what the back looks like. I'm also putting a little bit of bacon bond on them. Okay. And these you got to grab really careful because they are pretty small and they get away from you very easy. And then you just decide how many of each flower that you want. <coughs> uh, you knew that was going to happen, didn't you? It never fails. Pool guy coming. I don't know what he did yesterday, but when he cleaned it, he opened up the pump and the seal was lost. So when I opened it up today, the seal is like halfway on. So I called him back out and said, We need to fix this because I can't run the pump without a seal in there. So hopefully, I'll know in a minute. I hear this gate open up on the side of me, then I know he's here. And I might have to pause this for a minute. We don't have a heater in our pool, but we have like a... We don't have solar on the house per se, but we have solar on the house that ties into the pool. And so when the pool pump comes on, it runs through these little tubes and heats up the pool. And we've been having issues with that. And yeah, if the pool pump isn't on, it's not heating the pool. And when the grandkids came over Saturday, it was a little cold. Warmer than the ocean, but it was still a little cold. So I'd like to get that done for them. It's supposed to be like in the 90s next week already. So it's like, wow. Well, I guess I can't say already. We're already in May. I can't believe it. I, I just, I can't believe how fast this year is going. It's kind of scary. I would love to do those roses that we did 
for um, studs, but I think those might stick out a little too much. I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to do a couple more of these. And then I will hit pause just until I finish with the flowers. I'm going to do some different shaped flowers. And then I'll come back and we'll do the leaves together. I just wanted to show you an easy way of using your scraps. Alright, that guy didn't come out very well. Alright, so we're going to just put one right there. And I know this one's good, so I'm just going to stick that one in there. These might be a little too small to make these in the stud earrings. They're cute. They might be a little too small. Alright, so there we go. So now we have one flower on here. Okay, so that's what they look like. Yeah, some of these molds are really nice. Other ones, they're kind of funky. But we're still going to leave them. Okay, and then I'm going to come back with some more. So I will be back in a bit. Bye. Alrighty guys, so I am back and I'm a little flustered over here because I had all these silicone things that I showed you the other day and I had two leaves. One of them when I looked at, I was just like, oh no, this is way too small. There is no way this is going to be something I can make for a dangle and stuff like that. But for this, it would have absolutely been perfect. And I can't find it anywhere, and I've been searching now for about a half hour. So, we're going to have to hand make my leaves, which I really didn't want to do. Um, but I need like a hunter green, just a nice dark green to go with this. So, I'm taking two circles of cad yellow, one olive green. And I'm hoping this will give us a nice, um, I don't know, a nice hunter green. Or dark green, or something other than olive even though olive doesn't look too bad I want a little bit more green in it god I was hoping to using a mold on everything oh this is not making a dark green and it's funny because I got this from a search online that said two Spanish olive oh maybe it was two Spanish olive and one cad no it was two cad yellow and Okay, we're going to do it the other way because that's way, way too, too yellowy. I don't want that. So let's do two olive. I'm going to set you aside and one cad yellow. I have to set at a number three. Just want to make sure it's perfect. You ever had one of those nights? Everything was going really well and then kind of fell apart there with these leave issue. So now I'm going to have to reorder one. Because like I said, I've checked everywhere, every drawer and everything and I cannot find it. Alright, so let's see if this gives us a hunter green. Nope, it's just too yellowy. Wow, so somebody on the Sculpey site or somebody on Pinterest gave me the wrong color combo. <laughs> it's just my luck. Um, I have a forest green. But I don't like it. It's too... It's too blue. 
So let me add some yellow into this and see if we can get something to change. So let me just keep mixing some colors and then I will come right back. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I added a little bit of yellow with the forest green. And then it made it a, like a regular green, which I probably could have used it. And then I added a little bit of black. Um, you're going to hear a chirp every now and then. I don't know what's going on with my smoke detector. But it's having a little field day today. It went off about 15 minutes ago for no reason. And so, I thought I shut it off. It's freaking my dog out who's sitting in here looking down the hallway and hiding with me. And there we go. So it's got this little chirp going. So I don't know if the batteries are going out or what. Bandit, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right, bud. It's annoying, I know. So if it starts to annoy me too much, then I'm going to have to get up and take the batteries out. Maybe it just needs a battery change. I'm not quite sure why it does what it does. All right, so... You know, it's trying to figure out how to use these green leaves. Yeah, see all that air that's in there? Okay, we're going to wait one more chirp, see what it does to the dog. And if it freaks them out again, then I'm going to have to go shut that off. I really wanted that mold and the only reason I wanted that mold is I don't want to touch the veneer and ruin it. So okay now it's getting annoying to me so I'm gonna go unplug that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay so I hit reset hopefully that shuts it up. So I'm gonna practice here on a glass surface really quick before I actually do this. I have no idea what it just said. <laughs> it's not something that I can just unplug or take the batteries out. It's got to be unscrewed. So we're just going to leave it. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half. So, so if I set this down like that, okay, and set the other one right here. a littler one than this. Now, of course, I can't find that because I probably lifted everything else to try and find what I was looking for. But what I'm thinking is making the leave like this, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of thinning out the ends but not the center. And I'll show you why in about a minute. This will help me decide what I'm going to do with these. So if I were to put a bunch of those on there and run this blade down. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Okay, so we're going to do a normal way. OK, 
Okay, that's going to drive me crazy if it doesn't drive you already. So, let me lay this down and then I'm going to go out to get a ladder and actually dismantle it. So, I'm going to take this. problem with this is once I lay it down it's down I'm not going to be able to move it so that kind of worries me Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. We're going to leave that there. And let me go ahead and shut this guy off. I'll be back. Okay, so I unplugged it from the ceiling and the thing is still going off. So that didn't work and I can't get to the batteries. I don't know how to take it apart. So I guess it's going to sit in my office. I hope it doesn't go on on us. But I hit the button and it said warning silent. Um alarm activated so hopefully I just shut off everything that needed to be shut off but what a pain at least I know it's still active it's still working I don't know what set it off I know it does its little test every now and then so that's what I'm thinking happened so since I can't do this the way that I wanted to We are just going to have to manually put in our leaves here. Those seem a little too big and too thick. Uh, and this is the scary part because I don't want to ruin the veneer. So I'm going to show you a couple of these. Because again, this is a little more time consuming than you think when you start it and I don't want to make this video an hour or so so just gonna make a bunch of these some long some short I'm gonna just do it like that I'm going to do one more. Okay. And we'll put these on. I'm going to do the short one up on top. So that'll fit right there. And yeah, you really have to have steady hands, which I don't have. And then you just got to figure out where you want them. And this one's the other one. Might be just a tad bit too long. See, I don't know if I really like that like that.
Okay, so there we go with some of it. And I'm not really happy with it. I know exactly what I wanted to do. So before I let you go and finish that up, I'm going to do it again. So, I know exactly what I want to do. But I don't want to make it like a cane. But if I lay it down like this, right? And these are off, and I know that. I'm just playing. Okay, it's just something like that. And then just taking something blunt. You know what I mean? And just kind of maybe because it's on glass. Okay, let's try one more thing. We're going to put it on this blue right here. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Or I might just have to take a couple flowers and put it on top of those um put it on top of those the one that I already made that might help a lot but before I do I can't get anything to stick to the clay well, I guess I fixed our smoke alarm problem because it is not going off I walked around the house just to make sure my printers are alive, nothing's on fire. They're working. So it must have been just a weekly test. My husband's on his way home, so I'm just gonna have him change the batteries when he gets in so that don't happen again okay so we're going to try this one more time okay so what I'm trying to do is like what I would do with glass and that's basically just work better okay see what I'm doing there but I can't say I'm really liking this that much it definitely works much better with glass it's a little bit easier to drag them down So see how that looks you got kind of have the painted appearance of it so that's what I'm trying to get but again I don't want to screw it up because if I do then there's nothing I'm gonna be able to do to get these off Hmm. Decisions here. I don't have any purple. Let me try. Now, obviously, I'm not going to use this color. I might mute it just a little bit. But I'm going to try two things here. 
Okay, one thing here. These are butterflies. Ah, son of a gun. I almost had it. Well, guys, I might have to stop for a minute until I can get this to work, or you might end up being here forever with me. And I just cannot get this in. They are just so thin. And usually... I can use paper and it won't stick so maybe if I use this little texture thing here right okay that's not gonna work <laughs> okay I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna try and make at least one butterfly and then um, we'll put it on top of that flower and I'll see what it looks like Hopefully it'll work, and all will be good over here, because I really don't want to take this whole veneer apart. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how difficult this is. Okay, we got it in there. Nope, we don't because it is way too thin. Okay, so no butterfly. Got a couple flowers here. Oh, here's a bug. I don't know what kind of a bug it is, but... Maybe a bug, it may be a flower. I'm not quite sure what I am putting this into. Of like a lotus flower. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Oh! If I had those leaves, the one that I wanted, it, it would be absolutely perfect to do this. So, let me check and see if I have any Sculpey leaves, and then, um, if I do, maybe I'll use that. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. Well, I can't find what I was looking for. So, I'm just kind of making leaves, individual branches and leaves. And then adding a couple purple dots. Because um, I took them off and messed it up. So, I'm just going to fill all this in with stuff like that. And then when it's all complete, I will come back and show you what it looks like. So, we'll see you... We'll see you in a little bit or tomorrow. So I will talk to you soon. Bye. Alrighty, guys. It is nearly 11 p.m. And I am still working on this. I'll tell you what. It's one of those things that you don't know when to stop. You just keep adding little things and adding little things. And then you add more. And I finally said I got to stop. So this is what we got. Don't know if you can really see the colors. So... <laughs> Now we've got to find cutters in order to cut it. What would you use on something like that? Obviously, I don't want to use anything thin because you want to get as much of those beautiful flowers as you can. Um, but I think a triangle would be too much. Um, yeah, so in, your com in the comments, go ahead and tell me what you would use because you know I'm probably going to end up making another one of these. But um, for now, I am going to go ahead and get... Um, 
I'm going to get some cutters and then we'll come back and we're going to actually cut into this thing. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. Okay, so we are back for our final cut. Um, I am literally exhausted. That took a whole lot out of me. Um, that was a lot of work. So I want to kind of, let's see, to me that's just so big and I don't like big earrings. So I'd like to do two of those. I'd like to do two of those um, and maybe two of these. So, well, here we go. I mean, basically it's going to be, what? That didn't feel good. It looked like, felt like one of the flowers just broke or opened up and I don't want that. So I guess all we can do is just start cutting, right? And it's just like, where do you, where do you want to put it? Where do you want to put it to where you're going to get the most? Oh, now see that? I like. Ah, but I don't want to waste it because then I won't be able to put anything underneath it. And yeah, so this is, um, you, you can be really anal with this, can't you? All right, so I'm going to do that. Just cut, Irene, just cut. Okay, so there's one. And the way it's done, you know, it's not the same as the other. And so, I mean, I can get kind of the same. See, that doesn't have enough on that side. I might just have to leave that side alone. Okay, so, well, they're not going to be exactly the same design. I guess that's okay. I hope that's okay, because it is what it is. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to use that one. See, I feel like there's a lot of open spots, so after I cut it, I may end up having to come back in here and, and mess with it a little more by adding a little here and adding a little there. Okay, so we're going to put that one there. First time is definitely the hardest. Kind of getting the same colors as that other one. Okay. Um, yikes. I just like this right here. So I'm actually going to go sideways there. Because then I can go sideways here. Kind of. That's unusual for the shape to get stuck. Good thing about it is that I've got these little yellow balls. That I can press on. Okay, so I'm going to actually lift this up. Oh, I'm afraid to do so, but okay, maybe I don't have to. Oh, darn 
it. Can we do it? Okay, now I have no choice but to lift it up, but I'm going to lift it up really gently. I've got a whole, a whole lot to this that I haven't used. So I'm just going to kind of lift it up a little, pull it out. And that way I don't... I don't ruin what I haven't used yet. If that makes sense. I mean, there's no salvaging that, but if I can get one more piece out of the center then I'll be happy. So I'm going to do that. That. And let's get this one out. I don't know. I see everybody making these and theirs look so pretty. And then I do mine and it's like, eh. Not, not really impressed here. And that's probably just me, I know. I would love to incorporate this flower right here. And I'm so close to being there. But I don't think it's going to happen. So... I'm just going to move this over a little bit like that. Okay. And I'm going to kind of move that in a little bit. And maybe if I can manipulate it, I can get some of that flower in there. I could take this half flower out like that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this leftover yet. Okay, so this is what we got. I don't think I'm going to put it in the oven quite yet. Now that we see what it looks like, now we can see all of our open spaces there. So, oh, my back is like totally killing me right now. Um, we can add a couple little little flowers maybe right in here somewhere like these blue I can put like another blue one you know somewhere in the corner so I'm going to fill these up a little bit with something because it just seems like there's a lot of open space so um I guess I'm gonna have to wait and show you when they come out of the oven so really quick I'll show you again so this is what we got so far and um we'll see what happens when they come out so we'll talk to you then bye Hey guys, so I'm back and I am not impressed. You guys might like them, but for me, I just don't like them. Um, let's see if I can explain why. So, I don't like things that are asymmetrical that much. Um, I have a really hard time with that. And so, that was one problem. 
two is I've got all this empty space, you know, and it's empty space over here and on this earring it's over here and that just drives me crazy. Um, these two weren't too bad. Um, this one I really liked. I thought that one turned out okay. You know, I like the colors, the spacing and stuff like that. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try and... So it wasn't too bad. I'm not really happy with that. But I don't know. There's just something about these that I don't like. Maybe it's just the colors that I used on an ivory background. I don't know. I'm going to have to switch that up next time. But also, I think next time, instead of making a veneer like this and then cutting it out, I think I'd rather cut out the shapes and then place my flowers because I can make two blue ones and I can put one over here and then one over here, you know, so it's mirrored image of it. I know it's not going to be perfect, but I would rather work like that and that way I know, okay, I need to put something right here, I need to put something right here. Because when you're looking at the veneer, you know, you're looking at a certain area and going, oh, I love that flower, let me get that flower. You know, but there's some part of your design that's not going to have a whole lot on. You know, so when you're focusing on getting, like, m the main components in it, like, like this one. That was my main thing. But I didn't realize, look at all the purple on the bottom. So, to me, it looks like there's just too much purple the way it got cut out. It's weird. Because the purples were scattered everywhere, but just that cut put all that purple down here and, like, three greens. And so... It didn't kind of, you know what I mean? It it didn't it didn't space everything out nicely, um, so I'm not real happy with that. But if I do this again and then cut out the shapes, because you're not really doing anything to your shapes, um, so if you cut them out and add these on, you're not really going to ruin the shape. And if you do, then you can just take your cutter and go over it again, you know. So that's not a big deal. Um, but I think it would probably work out better. Because then I know exactly where to place everything and not have so much, I guess, dead space. I don't know. So we're going to try and put this one together. I think these rings are going to be way too big. Number two, by doing it this way, you're so focused on... You're kind of focused on where all your flowers and stuff are going to go. Yeah, I'm using my fingers because I don't have anything in front of me since I've been organizing. And that might be way too big, but we're going to try it anyways. But you're so focused where your flowers are going that you're not focused on where your holes have to go. And it just happens to be that one of the holes has to come right through a flower. So, um, I'd rather that didn't happen. But, that's where it is on this one. Uh, actually, I could probably go a little bigger on the jump rings. Because I don't like that circle so close to the design. So let's go one bigger, and I've got my, <laughs> my workbench is a mess, but I am organizing in here. But um, here's one of those art box shelves that I was telling you about. So basically this is all my jump rings, and they're all where they're supposed to be. Okay, that's a little bigger than these. And so now if I need jump rings, I just pull out one box, and there we go. We have jump rings here. So I'm really happy with the setup. I don't think I have jump rings that are any bigger than this. So that might not be good. I was hoping I had one more that could be a little bigger, but I don't. So it is what it is. I don't have a choice. I have to use these because I don't have anything bigger. So now I'm going to have to order more jump rings. Yeah, because I don't want to go little. And then these, yeah, well, darn. Okay, well, anyways, so these have not been finished yet. So 
so that's why I'm not really worried about using my fingers on the jump rings. I gotta work hard in it anyways. But I at least wanted to show you what it looked like. But yeah, I'm gonna do this again, but I think I'm going to do it um, a different way. And that way I can get them a little bit more I guess symmetrical with each other. And then it's just colors. It's what colors to use and I did a search on Google what's a good color to use with ivory. I was kind of shocked that it told me to use um, red, oranges, and yellows. I was really shocked with that. Alright, something's not right here. Alright. So that's got to come in like this. Oh, that's weird. Okay, that's right. Okay, and I think with my ear wires, I'm going to need a teeny little jump ring. And I don't think I'm going to be able to open these up with my fingers. I just want two small ones because I don't think they'll face right without them. Yeah, it's like 1 a.m. I just wanted to finish this. And then I finished it and just went, okay, that's not exactly how I like it. Again, I'm not worried about how perfect this is because I haven't sanded these or anything yet. But just to show you a quick view of the finish. God, I have no jump ring. I have no pliers in front of me. Okay, so now, I mean, you can use a post. At this point, you can use anything to finish these off. And you know me, one of these is going to go on backwards because that's how, that's how I roll. I'm thinking I need one of these. Yep. And yes, I got it on wrong. So let me kind of put that in like that. Do not tell me I did it again. So anyways, you know, I may not need this jump ring. I thought I would need it. Oh, and these are like the worst pliers. So I think I want to come in like that, right? Yep. Alrighty. So let's do one more. We're going to put this up. And I am using two completely different um, designs <laughs> on my on my earring hoops too so act like you don't notice it it is off I get it I'll take a picture of this and and then I'll change out after I'm done all right so let's see if I have something to hang this on so I can at least show you what it looks like Okay. And I don't, guys, so... I have an old 
old pair of cards with my old logo on it. So, these are not going to match the earrings at all. But right now, it's the only thing I got. A couple more days, and I'll have this office looking mighty fine. So, we're just going to wait. Get that done, and then we'll be back to our old self here. Alright, so... There are the earrings. They don't hang really well because this is pressing on the jump ring. But that's it. I don't know if you guys like them or not. Again, I'm not impressed, but um, it is what it is. So I hope you like that. We're going to clean them all up and maybe they'll look better. Um, and we're going to try it again. But I think this time, besides going for different colors, um we're going to cut out our shapes first. So give me some color ideas. I could really use help in that. And we will talk to you later. Bye.